So let's go over the first step in my cash-based physical therapy checklist. And that is, are you the expert? And there's two main focuses with that. One is in the clinic, and the other one is marketing. So are you the expert physical therapist? And in Malcolm Gladwell, Gladwell's book, Outliers, he kind of goes over that he says that it takes 10,000 hours of experience and practice to master a certain activity, task, or craft. Now with like residencies and fellowships, we can expedite that process in physical therapy. But uh, my question for you is, are you the expert? And in the clinic, I mean this because you're going to see easy cases and you're going to see complex cases. Yes, in a cash-based clinic, there's a whole market out there that you could tap into regarding complex cases that have failed multiple treatments. Um, and this isn't just physical therapy. Think in the big picture here, in the big market of healthcare in general. There's a whole other market out there of complex cases. Now, my question for you is, at your current level, your skill level, your tools, can you get the easy patients better, faster, and fewer visits compared to standard care? And then do you have the skill set to be able to um, see the complex cases and solve the root cause of their pain and be able to um, help them? So, um, and again, you don't have to get upset if you're not at that level yet. You may have to take a take a step back, take a year off of your private practice, still see patients, but maybe do a residency, maybe do a fellowship, maybe even do um, some advanced training in manual therapy, needling, etc., to set yourself apart so you are the expert when it's time for you to open up your cash-based clinic. So in the clinic, that's what I mean by are you the expert? Are you the highly mastered skilled clinician that can get the easy patients better and fewer visits? And do you have the skill set to be able to solve the complex cases? Now, on the marketing side of things, you know, there's an old saying that uh, people do business with other people who they like and trust. And it gets down to this trust factor. You know, if you were going to start saving for retirement and investing money, are you going to go after the expert financial advisor or are you going to just go after the average one? Um, if you were about to get surgery, do you want the expert physician doing surgery on you, who is the best reputation, shows the best outcomes, or are you just gonna get, are you gonna let a resident do your surgery? This is a no-brainer, but you can see where I'm going with this. If you are a prospective patient, do you want the DPT who's board certified and residency trained doing your treatment? Or do you want you know, the master's level? Now, we know that you know certain experts, regardless of whether you're a doctor or a master's level physical therapist, you know the outcome is the outcome. But when we're talking about marketing to the public, especially people who don't know what physical therapy is, the DPT holds value in that. So when you are marketing, are you the expert? Does your website kind of go over that? Does when you introduce yourself, you know, there, there's so many things that that you have to do and that can be done to kind of put yourself there and say this, I am the expert. Whether it's marketing strategies, whether it's the way you present yourself, whether it's your description online, profiles, etc. You know, you have to ask yourself, are you the expert in this field? Um, when I have people starting out, I have them target a niche market. So you have to be the expert in that niche market. If you're going to target runners, but you don't run, no, you can't be the expert if you don't practice what you preach. That's like being a personal trainer, but being overweight and obese. It's not going to work that way. So you have to practice what you preach. But um, on the marketing side of things, are you considered the expert? Do your testimonials say that? Do you carry yourself like that? Do your credentials say that you are the expert? So. Step one is, are you the expert? And there's two kind of factors with this. In the clinic, make sure you have the skills and the training to be the expert to solve the easy cases fast 
and to be able to solve the complex cases and really help people. And then two, on the marketing side, is your marketing strategies and your website and everything else promoting you as the expert? Because people are gonna do business with who they like and trust. They are gonna want the expert to do the treatments. And in a cash-based setting, you're not gonna have techs or assistants doing the treatments. If they're gonna pay cash for you, they wanna see the expert and wanna be treated by the best. So. Hope this helps. These are two things of what I kind of break down of, you know, are you the expert? Do you have the training that's needed to open up a cash-based clinic? So let me know your thoughts and questions. You can put them in the comment box below or send me an email and tune in for step two. Thanks.